So it's been a, a topsy-turvy few weeks for you, obviously, with changes of opponents uh, left, right, and center, it seems. Oh. Um, how's preparation? How has your short notice prep for Martin Vittori been? Uh, it's good. It's fine. You know, uh, there is such a so short uh, amount of time, so... Um, we're not gonna be stressing about it and uh, and so on. But of course, we're thinking about it. We're starting to to build up uh, a game plan and uh, how we're supposed to to, to work with uh, Vittori. And uh, you know, I, I know who who he is from before as well, so I know kind of how he is fighting and his style. Uh, so uh, yeah, um, even though it's a short amount of time, I, I feel ready for it. And um, what was your immediate reaction uh, when, when when you found out that yet you you've had yet another change of opponent? Was it was it like oh gosh, are you, but yet not again, or were you did you just brush it off? I was just like yes. First, when I had the, heard that uh, Kevin had uh, had COVID, I was just uh, devastated because <laughs> I thought that uh, I, I I lost my my chance to fight. Yeah. Uh, but as soon as they they said that uh, I have another opponent, uh, I was fine. I was fine with that, and I was happy that was uh, Vittori. He's uh, he's ranked, and uh, yeah, so uh, all good. Uh, I was I was just like, man, uh, let's do it. Uh, so the there's no hesitation about in the, the situation, the, the COVID situation. You like you might know you might not know when you be, you might not be able to fight next, like early next year or whatever, you don't know what the situation is. So was that at the forefront of your mind? You're just like, right, I've just got to fight. It doesn't matter or? Yeah, yeah. no, I, like uh, I, I just I just need a fight. That, that's it. Uh, so uh, I was just uh, ready to take it right away. I didn't think twice about it at all. Uh, it was more like a relief when I uh, understood that uh, I still gonna fight. So um, yeah, I was I was happy with it. I'm, uh, I'm happy with the switch, it's, it's, uh, it's cool. Uh, I feel like I can beat uh, anybody right now, and uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to, to the fight with uh, Vittori. So, like, I, I know you said that you're not well. You're, you're 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 kind of just rolling with the punches per se with it with, with the situation. But how do you like get yourself in the zone to to fight somebody on on such short notice, but on, on a week's notice? I'm not sure if you've done that in your career beforehand. Um, yeah, you know, uh, it's uh, like one. We noticed that that's that's really short, but uh, uh, it's not like I didn't have a fight camp or anything, right? So I've been preparing to fight for uh, like a long time right now, and uh, so so I'm I'm physically and mentally prepared to fight, uh, and it's just change of of opponent, and uh, we just have to adapt to that and. It's the same situation for my opponent. He didn't prepare for me longer than a week either. Yeah. So uh, I think we're on the same terms. So uh, it's all good. And obviously, you mentioned it there. Marvin's is somebody that's ranked, and obviously, all ranked fighters keep keep eyes keep keep an eye on their uh, fellow ranked fighters. What have you made of Marvin's recent uh, recent outings? Yeah, he, he looks he looks good, you know, and uh, and also, of course, he. He's one of those guys that uh, did pretty well against uh, Adesanya. So it's basically uh, Gastelum and, and Marvin that uh, has been doing uh, pretty good with Adesanya. So uh, and uh, I think he's uh, uh, yeah he's he's definitely one of the better guys in in this division. So so uh, it's uh, he's a he's a good fight. And stylistically, how do you foresee the, the fight playing out? Okay, well, I'm, 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 are you expecting another uh, like night at the office like you did with Gaslam? Are you going to go for another quick submission or? Well, um, Marvin is is hard to finish. He's uh, he's durable and uh, he can take a punch. So. Um, uh, I'm I'm always looking for for a a, a finish and a, a early finish, and uh, I'm gonna do it in, in this fight as well. But uh, um, I'm gonna be ready for for, for five rounds uh, if I if we need to. But uh, the plan plan A is always to finish in the first round, and uh, uh, and that's what I'm looking forward to do. 
And I, I want to circle back to something that you mentioned there. You mentioned the, the champion Israel Adesanya. Now, it looks as if he's moving up to light, the light heavyweight division. And obviously, you, you're very high ranked in, in, in the rankings. You're ranked, you're ranked number four. So what are your thoughts on him moving up and potentially there being a logjam in the division? Well, he, he likes to stay active. So uh, hopefully he goes up and win the fight and comes down pretty quickly mm -hmm. to uh, defend his belt. Uh, but you never know what's going to happen. He can injure himself or, or whatever, you know, when he goes up. So... I really hope that everything plays out well and that he will be able to, to come down uh, uh, the next year already to, to defend his middleweight uh, belt. So, uh, yeah, there's not, not much I can do about it, but fingers crossed and, uh, and hopefully he can stay active in, uh, in both divisions. Mm -hmm. And obviously, initially, you were meant to be fighting uh, Dar Darren Till. Um, is that still a fight that you want? Because a lot of fans in Europe are really excited about that fight because it was essentially crowning the best middleweight in, in Europe as like an unofficial belt. Is that is that still a fight that you'd like to have down the road? Yeah, but not like the the, the next fight. Like I felt like uh, this was uh, supposed to be my uh, tune-up fight or whatever to, to, to a contender spot or, mm -hmm. or for a title fight, you know. And uh, when Darren pulled out and uh, yeah, basically that, that, that fight, fight, fight uh, uh, goes out, and I feel like the next fight after this one should be either against uh, Robert Whittaker or Paulo Costa, or, or against the champ. Uh, so uh, I don't see uh, me and Darren Till uh, fighting very soon. But uh, yeah, probably we, we will probably fight in, in the future. But uh, I don't got, got, have my eyes on him uh, right now. Okay. And I'm, I'm not, I'm sure you must be aware of this, but in September, you celebrated your fourth anniversary of being in the UFC. That's, I, I believe off the top of my head, it's 11 fights you've had in the UFC now. So yeah, how would you assess your overall time in the, in the promotion now? Uh, it has been a great time in the UFC and I felt like uh, I came into the organization at a really good time when everybody, uh, when everybody, Everything is uh, is uh, snow. We can uh, can ask for you know with the with the PI and uh, all the help that we get with with uh, all kinds of stuff. So um, it's a, it's a good time to to be a UC fighter right now, and I'm enjoying it. Uh, I, I really do, and uh, I'm looking forward to to all all uh, the years to come. And do you feel that right now that you're at the at the peak of your powers? Like I know you went on the the five fight win streak before the the Cannoneer fight, and then obviously it was a spectacular performance against Kelvin. Do you feel that now you are the, the best version of Jack Hermanson? Yeah, definitely. Uh, I'm peaking right now and I'm going to have the best time. And uh, yeah, I, I'm the best fighter that I've ever been so far. And the uh, best Jack Hermanson uh, the next couple yeah, of years. And I, I know you're not one to, um, to, to look too far into the future, but... How do you foresee 2021 playing out, provided you get a victory over um, uh, over uh, Marvin? I, I was about to say Kevin there, but I had to correct myself. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, if I get the victory, I definitely should get either a title shot or a contender fight uh, with uh, yeah with the girl or, or Costa, and uh, then I should should be fighting for the title next. So. Uh, yeah, I, I see that happening. Uh, maybe one one fight in uh, early 2021, and then uh, a title fight in the end of the year. That, that's uh, yeah, that, that's what I'm looking forward to. Okay, and uh, final question for me: Is there a prediction uh, for? Do you have a prediction for this fight? But with with Marvin, how do you foresee it playing out? Uh, yeah. Um, well, uh, I, I'm always looking for a finish, and I'm gonna look for a, a early finish. So uh, my, my prediction will still be a first round finish, uh, as it was with uh, Kevin Holland. All right, Jack. Thank you very much for your time. I really do appreciate it. Um, hopefully, you can get out of your room soon enough and 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 enjoy uh, and enjoy the, the sunshine over there. But take care and good luck for the weekend. Thank you so much. Thank you for thank having you. me. All right.